Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mark and this is my 2014 Mustang. Now, I have a little bit of a problem that I have to deal with. Um, the exhaust is too quiet. Right now, I have the stock exhaust on here. And honestly, uh, it's too quiet. I can't hear it while I'm driving around. Um, like, honestly, I hear the engine more than I actually hear the exhaust itself. Should be a little bit of the other way around, but a little bit of both. Um, so today, I'm gonna fix that. I'm gonna show you guys what I got. I'm gonna show you how to put it on, and I'm gonna show you what it sounds like. All right, I guess let's start with what the factory exhaust sounds like. Um, it sounds okay, but it's really not loud enough for my taste. I don't need to be obnoxiously loud. I don't need to run, you know, long tube headers and that's it. And that's just way too loud for me. I gotta be able to drive the car around. It's still my daily. So I wanna get something that sounds pretty good. You know, has a tone, nice deep rumble, but isn't obnoxious. So here's what the original exhaust sounds like. All right, so that wasn't a cold start. That was just a hot start. I drove it here and parked it and then made this video, so like it didn't have a chance to cool down. But that's what it sounds like when I rev it up to about 3,000 RPMs. It is a stock exhaust, so it's very quiet. Uh, so let's see what I can do about changing that. Well, all right, let's find out what's in this magic box of vroom vroom. Ah. Ooh, I see a pipe. Ooh, that's a nice looking pipe. So, got one pipe, set this over here. I'm gonna slam it on the ground. Oh look, my spoiler came in. I'll show you guys putting that one on later, but I wanna make some noise. Oh look, another pipe. Ooh, some muffler. Those must be the tips. But got me some MBRP race mufflers. See how good these things sound. Let's see if we can see what they look like in the light. So, they look like they're straight through mufflers with some holes in the side for the sound to go through. Well, let's put it on, see what this thing sounds like. So, first thing I gotta do is jack up the car. And since I'm jacking up the rear, and this thing still has the giant full drive gaps here. Let me show you. Shoe test. It just sits on the tire, but it's not gonna stay in there. It's not gonna work. It is too tall. I'm gonna have to change that in a later feature, or a later video. Well, we're gonna use the four wheel drive wheel chucks. Cause they're big, they fit, and I don't want the car moving while I'm underneath it. Look, fits perfectly. Nobody ever tell. Bam. Hey, I don't always use wheel chocks, but when I do, I forget about them and try to run them over. All right, so I got the car all nice and jacked up now. Um, I got the jack stands there on the side. And if you see, I have my little wood ramps there as well. That way, in case one of the jack stands falls, then, you know, I got something to catch it so I don't have to catch it. So, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take off the old exhaust. And first thing you gotta do with every exhaust, there's some light, is you gotta go through and loop up all of the bolts and nuts and everything that you're gonna be taking off because it's been on there a while. And Things like to rust together. Plus, the lube also helps when you take off and all of your little. There we go. Hey, look, you can see now. All your little exhaust brackets and things like that. So, just little. And then I know there's some back here. This thing has a magnet. Stick it there. No. Too round. There. Hey, look, you can see now. All right, so we'll spray there. That's coming off. There should be some on the other back side too. Maybe. There we go. 
so. Well, it's not clean work, but it'll help out a lot and everything will start to come off. There might still be things that break depending on where you live, but for me, it's usually not too bad. But now that I said something, it'll probably break. All right, a little pro tip, guys. Get yourself one of these exhaust hanger pliers. Um, I don't know why I didn't have some of these years ago, but you can use them. You can get these off without them, but this, these make them so much easier. So, well, let me get some light in here so you guys can even see. Bam! All right. So the one side goes on the back end. The other side pushes the pin in, and then you just squeeze, and it should come right off. Oh, that is so much nicer. Look at that. Push it right out. Whoa, almost fell off. Oh, that was so much easier using a pry bar. You know, when they tell you, you have the right tool for the right job, it makes life so much easier. All right, so I got the factory exhaust out. Uh, it wasn't too bad. The rear mufflers, I had to take the mounts off of the back ones and drop it down with it. Uh, it was pretty easy. There's just like two bolts to hold them in. And then for the pipes, I had to take the lower shock bolts off. That way I could lower the axle low enough just to get these out while it was on the ground. It was kind of a little bit of a pain, but it wasn't too bad. All right, so far my whole experience with this exhaust is not really that bad. Uh, I got the pipes from the mid pipe all the way back to the over the axle. It was actually pretty easy to put in. Um, but I've run into this a couple times. Shipping the packages wasn't that great, so I gotta bend these back and make them round. That way I can put it back together on the car or put it together on the car for the first time. And that's a little bit annoying. They should do better packaging. All right, so it's got a chance to warm up a little bit and idle down. And honestly, it's really not that loud. We'll see how it goes, see how it sounds in the morning. But right now it sounds way better than it did before. All right, so just like I did in the first video, I revved it up to 3000, that way you can hear the difference. I'm even outside, so you can even tell it's even louder out here just because before I was inside the garage, so there was that little bit of echo, so you could hear, you know, what you could hear from the stock exhaust, but now it sounds really good. I do think that it's a little droney at about 2000 RPMs. I'm probably gonna end up getting the street mufflers, but for now, we'll see how these ones do, see how I like them. And if you guys like what you saw, smash that thumbs up button, and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way, the next time I post a video on my new car, you guys will know. Hey, I'll leave my Instagram link down below. I post there from time to time. Thank you guys, I will see you next video.